But we begin this afternoon with college basketball star Imani Bates arrested on gun charges. Thank you for joining us today for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Bates facing two charges, one for possession of a concealed weapon, the other for altering ID marks on the firearm. He recently transferred from Memphis back to his hometown to play for Eastern Michigan University. 7 Action Sports Director Brad Galley joining us live with more on this unfortunate story, Brad. It's a good way to put it. These are not exactly the fun days of covering yeah. sports, but it's days we have to do in our job here. Amani Bates, yeah. three and a half years ago, stood over there with his championship basketball team, yeah. joined us in studio. Amani Bates is a first name basketball star with roots in Metro Detroit. He's just 18, but he has been everywhere from ESPN as a high school sophomore to the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yet weeks before his Eastern Michigan debut, he is leaving jail after an overnight arrest. Here's what we're learning. Sunday night, Amani Bates was driving when he was pulled over for failing to stop in Superior Township near campus. Police say they found a firearm in the car and Bates was then taken into custody, held in jail overnight. The college sophomore is now charged with one count of carrying a concealed weapon and one count of altering ID marks on a firearm. Bates' attorney asked that the court enter a non-guilty plea stating this is Bates' first brush with the law, has no prior criminal history at all, and that he poses no threat or risk to society. The nature of these particular charges are inherently dangerous. That's why we have laws regulating this kind of thing is so that people have training and knowledge so that there, this, the, there is not a danger to the community. Bates transferred to Eastern Michigan this summer, returning home for his sophomore season. He grew up in Ypsilanti where he emerged as the number one ranked player in the nation in his class. Here is his path since then. Bates led Lincoln High School to a state championship as a freshman in 2019. After his second high school season, he was named the first ever sophomore to win the national Gatorade Boys Basketball Player of the Year. That was in 2020. After a season playing for Ipsy Prep Academy, he was committed to play at Michigan State, but decommitted, ultimately leaving high school early and reclassifying to join Memphis last season. Just last week, you're seeing them there, Bates posting photos of himself in an Eastern Michigan uniform for the first time. Well, now EMU is suspending him from practices and games. He was released from jail, but the school providing us with a statement saying Eastern Michigan University takes all allegations of this nature very seriously. Per department policy, he has been suspended automatically from practices and playing privileges until the legal process is resolved. Because this is an ongoing legal matter, the university will have no further comment at this time. Bates' next court hearing for probable cause is scheduled October 6th. Brian and Glenda, the home opener is October 27th. Boy, we'll be waiting to see how this impacts his future. It's sad to see. 18 years old, bright future ahead of him today. Changes a lot, but we'll certainly see what is next for Monty Bates. All right, Brad, thank you.